It's fair to say the past few months have been challenging for Miss Queer Investors. Towards the end of last year, the Myanmar language social media, payments, and entertainment group teamed up with a couple of partners. This included a deal that will see its games distributed on the Huawei Intich platform. Yet the shares haven't responded, with investors harboring concerns over a slight slowdown in daily revenue growth in the first quarter, while the civil unrest in the country probably hasn't helped either. The market sentiment took a significant turn for the better this week, though as Miss Cord delivered a belated Christmas present to its shareholders. It said on Wednesday it had received an approach from a mystery organization which could lead to a takeover offer at some point in the near future. Miscor hinted that it would prefer to be taken out further down the line, stating that it appreciated the interest, but is not actively seeking a buyer as it expects to become an even more attractive prospect over time. The firm muttered the usual line that there can be no certainty of any offer, but investors were willing to chance their arm, sending the stock soaring by almost 50% to 2.4 pence. The publication is a bit late to the party given that the headline results were announced back in September 2016, but Futura said it nonetheless shows the growing level of scientific interest in the gel. That study showed that the gel was faster working than the current crop of pills on the market, with 70% of participants experiencing onset of an erection within 10 minutes. Struggling for liftoff, though was blood flow monitoring technology firm Deltex Medical. The company blamed procurement process headwinds as full-year sales of its esophageal Doppler monitor probes fell to £5.9 million from £6.3 million a year earlier. The UK, which until last year was comfortably Dell Texas' largest market, continues to prove a tough nut to crack as NHS budgets come under increasing pressure. International sales also fell due to order delays. Although there was a small bright spot in the shape of the US which saw revenues grow on the back of major account wins. Shares dived 45% to 1.2 pence. Overall, it was a record breaking week for the small caps, with the AMOL share closing with a 15.1 point, or 1.4% gain to sit at 1,065.4. At one point on Friday, it even hit 1,068.3. The blue chips also hit new highs as the FT. SC100 finished the week at an all-time closing peak of 7,718.4, a 0.4%, or 27.3 point gain. Symphony Environmental was one of those hitting all the right notes after the biodegradable plastic specialist said profits in the year just finished will be significantly higher than current market forecasts.
The company, which says its technology makes plastics smarter, expects revenues for 2017 to clock in at around £8.2 million, up from £6.8 million the year before. That would also be nicely ahead of the £7.5 million city analysts had been looking for. Back in October Symphony said that full-year pre-tax profits would be not less than £350,000, but it raised this guidance to not less than £400,000. That compares with just £123,000 in 2016 and market expectations of closer to £200,000. Shares jumped 21% to 15.4p as investors unsurprisingly investors cheered the statement. Traders were also plowing into plus 500 after the spree bidding group revealed full-year profits and revenues should come in ahead of expectations. The AIM listed firm, which provides an online trading platform for retail customers to trade contracts for differences CFDs, added almost 250,000 new customers in 2017, which helped it to deliver record revenues in the final quarter. With the rise of Bitcoin et al last year, it's perhaps unsurprising that PLUS500 achieved strong volumes in cryptocurrency CFDs during the year. The rising customer numbers and strong trading more than offset challenges from a sector-wide regulatory clampdown as European and UK authorities look to better protect traders from racking up big losses. Shares finished the week 27% higher at £11.39. The first week of 2018 wasn't full of happiness or prosperity for everyone though, Stamp and Rare Coins group Stanley Gibbons took another licking as investors dumped the stock following last week's interim results. Buried in that statement, which was written in such small writing that it could have fit on the back of a stamp, was the admission that around £5 million is needed just to get the business back on an even keel. To put that into context, Stanley Gibbons currently has a market cap of just £2.5 million. The numbers themselves didn't make for good reading either as it booked a loss of £3.1 million on lower revenues of £16.6 .6 million. Stanley Gibbons said talks with its lenders have been constructive and it is also considering offloading more assets to beef up its cash position. However investors seem to think that might not be enough and that the last rights may well be read soon. Shares are down 25% over the past week to 4.1 pence, 